Hello everybody, and welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, episode 8. I'm Aureus. I'm Wing. And we left off trying to get past a very big snake. Giant snicko. So we know he's going to show up right here. God dang, man. You know, we already know how big he is, but sometimes <clears throat> I forget how big he is. Alright. I just like... What the heck am I even supposed to do about something that big? Uh, hope that you can outrun him. Alright. I'm just gonna jump. I'm just gonna go for it. Probably the best way to handle things. What even just happened? Hi there, Whatever buddy. it was, he didn't notice. Uh, hey there. Maybe quit bumping me. I don't know how I couldn't feel you, but okay. To be fair, I am very small and he is very big. Fair enough. Now, in the last episode, you had said something about that object up there had something? Yeah, when you ran past it, something popped up for a couple of seconds. So I wonder, it, since it looks like a little shed or something, I mean, obviously it's probably not a shed. Well, like a tent or something. Yeah, but so I wonder if it's something you can hide in. Okay, I got you. He's not looking that- oh, never mind. Hi, buddy. I think his eye is the size of your torso. Right. Bigger. Like you are the size of his eye. Oh, it's, it's a palanquin. How did a random palanquin get here is my question. Oh, oh god, oh jeez. I don't think I'm supposed to hide in here. I think he sees- Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's screaming! I kind of snapped him in the eye. I know, I didn't expect screaming. Snap seed. A few more seeds that make a loud noise if you snap them. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. If an illusion occurs, it is because someone created it. To crush the phantoms and return to reality, one must defeat the creator of the illusion. Snap seeds can be of great help in that regard. I'd have laughed to crush you when you had to come back and do this again. We're just gonna run, we're just gonna go for it, bye. I have probably the best thing to do. Hi! I think you made him very, very much angrier than he already was. I, I thought I saw his mouth right there. You heck off, sir. You really, really angry. I kind of stabbed him in the eye. I'm I expecting know. to be a bit angry. <laughs> I'm allowed to repeat myself. <laughs> So you should not come over here? I'm not complaining. You should look behind you. I'm curious what that though. Stop jumping already! Well, I saw that there was a sculptor's idol, so I want to rest. Well, I didn't see it, so... All I saw was you flying. Because as I was at uh, the one down there, I saw the emblem for the sculptor's idol pop up. Gotcha. I want gotcha and sugar. Okay. So do, do I get to look down into the left now? Down here? Cause that's where you'd initially come from. Okay. Yeah. But you never know when I might be hiding something. I like to do that. Oh, well, let's look then. Ah, see, there is something. There we go. Pick up the item. There we go. More Akko sugar. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, I think there's something on the wall. <laughs> Very derpy laughing. <laughs> okay, so there's a guy with this. That's a spear for sure. Is that a headless? Uh, no, no, he's got a head. What? It's a headless before he's a headless. Right? It's a headless plus the head. 
There's a guy with a spear. There's a guy with a gun that's, yeah, right there. Oh. Okay, let me try and view everything that I'm able to see. Okay, so Ooh. there's... Ooh. Yay! Look, a smoke signal from the Great Castle Gate. It is Lord Yoke. Oh. Yes, that's definitely Giobu the Demon. Oh, she's not safe so long as that man guards her doors. Okay. So there's two items there. There's phantoms for you to listen to. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get a view on the enemies. So spear dude, big dude, dude there, those two. Dude to the side. Dude to the side. Anything behind me? Anything on this side? Down the wall. You should see there. if there's another guy by the gun guy, because we couldn't see too terribly clearly. You never know. They might be hiding somebody, like, right in his... Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, plus the big guy. Ooh, big guy doesn't have multiple health bars, so that's good to know. I think he's like the one big boy from before. What, the chained ogre? No, the other big boy. The first one that looked like he was wearing a diaper. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. He's the one making the weird noises. Is he crying? I don't know, but he's very big, and he's covering his face. Oh, I wonder if when I go to kill him, he becomes a headless. Hopefully not. Okay, well, we need to try and figure out who we want to take down and in what order. Um, well, guns are always a good idea. Yeah, I'm worried that guy's going to notice, though. Probably. Well... It's probably best we go after Gun Boy first anyway, so... Because you can always run and hide after you do. Mm -hmm. Shit. No, get me out of here, man. Fuck, dude. There's too much shit to get caught on. My camera always wants to auto-lock onto something. At least he was only wary and didn't fully... Yeah, I guess. Man, I don't like the way that it just automatically, oh, hey, this person died, so let's just force you to lock on to somebody else. May as well see what's up this way, right? Yeah. Oh, ooh. Oh, my poor, poor Lord. All it took was a bit of gunpowder. He startled it. And now he's dead. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my computer decided that it was going to short out all of my USB 3.0 ports. Double check that the video is still recording also. So we just got a couple of sit a little, make sure yeah, yeah. Okay. all the programs want to cooperate. Yeah, the, the video is still recording. Okay. Okay. So all of that's fine. That's good. So it was only an outage of, like, five seconds? Something like that. I don't even know, man. I just... Uh, you should re-eavesdrop, because I think it cut out partway through that. Yeah. Poor guy. Aw, poor baby. Now you can join your horse. My thought, like, now you can go see your horse again. You're welcome. Ooh, that's that's a lot of corpses. Where? Th those, oh, right there. Oh, gotcha, okay. I'm sitting here, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? The pellets. Oh, you can turn corners. Okay, so... Ooh, can I open this? No. Of course not. So you still have all of those guys. Yeah. From the other area. Well. Because this is a different spot. Because right down there is where all of they are at. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there is a guy. God dang it, man. Why did you fly? Okay. I'm pressing R1 and nothing is happening. God, this game is the most unresponsive, jittery shit on occasion. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Even poor bodies. Yeah, there's a lot of dead people. Well, yeah, I just... At least they're not piled all together, I guess. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so like, is there any benefit to coming over here other than skipping all the enemies in this direction? Um, items, jumps. Cliff. Okay, there's the big boy again. The big boy again. So there's an item there. So once he goes by... Well, because Spear Dude over there that's looking over the cliff is going to be coming around as well. Yeah, but once Big Boy is gone and Spear Guy comes around, you can hopefully get a death from above with him. Well, that's what I plan on doing. That's what I was trying to say. Ah, gotcha. I just meant that, like, I don't want to go down and try and grab the item if Spear Boy is going to be coming around the corner. Yeah, fair enough. Here he comes now. You'll have to tell me later whether you prefer uh, shields or big boys once you kill him. Great. There's stairs over there, so I don't know if he's going to start walking up them. Let him. I can't hug this wall for some reason. You're crouching? No, because no. okay. I've been able to hug walls from crouching before. Uh, probably because it's uh, not flat. It's uh, Kuro and Genichiro. So it is. Let me deal with these guys first. Yeah, that makes sense. So who do you want to land on? Well, I'm pretty sure Spear Boy is the only one I can actually hit from here, so... Fair enough. And even that's not guaranteed, yeah. I guess. Um, get more bodies, unsurprisingly. I don't want to be trying to fight him and Big Boy at the same time, so I was like, ah, let's just not um, say we didn't. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Okay, so they're set up like that. The one just now figured out the stairs again. Maybe you could do one of your wall grabby things. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Sometimes they just make it too easy for you. Sometimes. But no, Sekiro needs an easy mode. <laughs> Alright, now we can do this. We managed to drive them back once, but the Interior Ministry's army is far too powerful. And that is why you wish to use the power of my blood. It doesn't matter how much power you obtain. You'll keep on fighting until you're a monster, incapable of feeling pain or fear. I do not wish to corrupt the lives of men. Look at this mountain of bodies. Ashina cannot be defended by normal means. Not normal. I could what a jerk. be as strong as you. I can get it, but I do not yet know. Kura's just a kid. I should do. Yeah. It's been a long time since that happened. Wait all you'd like. It'll do you no good. Like, I understand what Genichiro is saying though, man. Like I people are dying it. left and right. We kinda need to step up our game a bit. I get it. And, and from a lord's standpoint, I definitely understand. But God, some of these enemies are so ugly. That oh, was easy. Uh, I'm gonna guess from him turning to dust like that that he's not coming back. There's still a couple of items. 
So there are, yeah. I forgot about these. Okay, so... Oh, and a little room. Ceramic shard. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Heavy coin purse. So now I'm getting more gold. Oh, then a hole in the wall. There's a way to sneak around, grab the items if I wanted to skip past all the enemies, I'm assuming. Probably. Okay. Alright, so... Those must be attacking bodies. Man, that's a lot of open space with no enemies in it. A lot of crows. A lot of corpses. And the music just kind of cut out, too. A couple of enemies. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, God, I've got to sneeze. It looks like you can go into that building right there. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, probably. All right, let's... Sneak around the back way? Yeah, see if we can do something along those lines, because I don't know about you, but big old open fields like that with no other enemies, that's a... Uh, that's a boss arena. That's a boss arena, like, for sure. Oh man, I think there's no way for me to get to there without dropping down. Yeah, and uh, if you keep going along the way you're yeah, onto that little roof, is there anything for you to even jump to? Uh, maybe that, that's about it. Uh, nothing's popping up, so now you have to go down there. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's go for the doorway first. Try and get as far over. Cool. Do you get to open it? Nope. Well, so much for that. Well. Well, we know there's an item, at the very least. Yeah, over here. Time for me to die to my first boss, I suppose. A fistful of ash. Okay. You will not pass the castle gate! Oh, okay. Over the demon. Oh. The pork. You're gonna Ow. have to kill the horse. Ow. That's a big fucking horse. That is a big fucking spear. That's, um... Almost the same weapon that, uh... Oh. I'm trying to press L1 and nothing is happening. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. So he can just... I've noticed... Yeah, there. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. There's not much I can do to help. Yeah, I know. I just kind of need you to chill. Well, I... You don't always use the, uh... You're still standing. I'll <laughs> you as many times as it takes. Demon Shadow. That's a fun name for a horse. Where did you see Demon Shadow? Uh, he said Oni Kage. Oh, okay, gotcha. And Kage is uh, Shadow and Oni is Demon. Yeah. Does he have a point time to do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so that's gonna be one hell of a fight. Round two? Uh, we'll see, I guess, man. <laughs> I don't want to keep dying over and over again. That's the one thing about this game that I honestly, like, I'm kind of fearful of. Like, you legit have consequences for dying. It's a nice change. Honestly, I don't think it's a nice change. It is a change. I don't think it's a good one, though. Because Dark Souls, part of what made Dark Souls not to... Oh my god, man. Why are you the worst fucking ninja ever to exist? <laughs> fucking step half a foot forward when you attack. You godforsaken worthless fucking bastard. No wonder your fucking master got captured. Piece of shit. 
Anyway, um, but Dark Souls, you know, you could die over and over and over and over again, and the only consequence was that you weren't going to be able to level up. In this, with the Dragon Rock going around, I could be missing out on quest lines and shit. Which... Potentially. I mean, we don't know if the NPCs are actually going to die, which reminds me, you do need to swing by the old lady and get her blood at some point. Oh, yeah. Um, that directional audio, though. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm trying to figure out what's the proper time to block, and I'm underestimating how fucking long this spear is. I'm kind of curious if there's anything you can jump on to help. The fact that you can carry a spear, a spear that big, swung from horseback. It's God damn, man, there's nothing I can do. I just, there's no openings. Probably permanently attached. Although I'm willing to bet the first death blow takes out the horse, and then the second is him. So it's like a legitimate face thing. Yeah. The horse keeps trying to step on him. Which I mean, I get it. He's a war horse. He kind of trained to do that. You will not take the Skelbo's head. Okay, so now I won't let me stay locked onto him. That's going to fucking make me die. Cool. Yeah, that just straight up won't let me lock onto him. I am dead. Uh, at least you can resurrect still. I suppose. Kind of impossible to win when my camera doesn't want to, you know, be a working camera. Horses do not jump like that. Yeah, I I can't do anything. I mean, you did get one death blow at least. I suppose. Mainly luck more than anything else. Once that second phase hit and it was a constant, no, you can't stay locked onto the boss. Like, if it's going to be like that throughout the entire second phase, I'm not winning this fight. Just straight up. You might have to disengage, re-engage type battle. Yeah, but if he's like other enemies, he'll just regain his death blow back. Well, I don't mean disengage as in, like, run away entirely. I mean, put a bit of space between the two of you. Oh my god, man, the death blow indicators in this game are so finicky. This game as a general thing is just so not precise. I hate it. Okay, you wanna know what? Since I'm not gonna be using the monocle and I'm out of pellets, I'm gonna trade out for some sugar. So. Uh, so, red increased your attack, blue increased your. Um, Defense. Goken yeah. is posture, and then. Uh, Gachin is stealth. Yeah, so you probably want Akko or Ungo. I want Ungo. Because I'm taking a lot of damage. My name is Kyobu Masataka Oniwa! As I indicator for the sugar in use.
I mean, I've given the way that that keeps popping up for you to close distance. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, probably. It's just play passively, wait for an opportunity to... Just trying to get a moment so I can heal, man. Not enough fingers? No, the boss never stopping his fucking attacks. I mean, yeah, there's that too. That was a new dialogue line. You will not take this Gilbo's head! <sighs> Again, where, why is my camera deciding to not be a camera suddenly? I think it's a mechanic because he's moving a lot faster now. So, like, you're not allowed to lock on type stupid bullshit. Yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, as you say, stupid bullshit. And whoever decided that's how this boss fight was going to go should be fired. Okay. I'm dead again. Because yay for unblockable sweeps. Yeah. Unblockable, unblockable, unblockable. Can't lock on, can't block, can't dodge, can't do anything. So do you want to try him again, or try the Shinobi Hunter again? Uh, there's nothing else I really can do, so I might as well just keep bashing my head against the wall until I eventually succeed. That's well, how it always is in Souls games. Oh, cool. Uh, the reason why I asked about the Shinobi Hunter is now that we're a little more accustomed, I guess, uh, maybe there's something behind him that you can use to help with this. Uh, I'd rather just try this. I, I'm getting there. I'm getting closer every time. Are you going to use your last... Uh... Oh, you... This It's almost as if it recharges. Yeah, that's why I was a little confused. Okay. Okay. No, it's just the camera in this fight is fucking impossible and stupid and designed by monkeys. Okay, I'm pressing L1 and nothing's happening. Good to know. Again, pressed L1, nothing happened. Sure would be nice if I could, you know, play the game. Hey, at least you did not have to knock him down as much that time. Smack that booty, watch it jiggle. What I need is to be able to once again do something without having him fucking stop me from being able to even move or breathe or think or play the game or what the fuck ever. Stop attacking for two seconds.
gonna do that. I'm willing to play dickish if I have to. There we go. Got him. Ooh, Ooh finisher death blow. Oh. Ooh. Oh. For like. Oh, okay. Shinobi execution. Nice. All right, now my question is, what's the option? Huh. All right, memory, Gyobu Oniwa. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with a sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Gyobu Mas Masataka Oniwa was keeper of the Ashina Castle Gate. In other words, hey, beat this boss a second time and we'll buff your attack for you. Bet you he's harder. I bet you he is. Mechanical barrel. A mechanical barrel that can be given to the sculptor to enable prosthetic tool upgrades. It appears to have been made to fit perfectly inside the wrist bone of the shinobi prosthetic. A reinforced core is sure to make a shinobi's fangs even sharper. Cool. Alright, so... Uh oh. Okay. Prosthetic tool upgrades. By giving the mechanical barrel to the sculptor, prosthetic uh, upgraded prosthetic tools can be created. You can quickly return to the sculptor via the travel option at a sculptor's idol or by using the homeward idol quick item. Use the quick item. Okay. Um, just go to here because I don't know if it's like Dark Souls and using the... Because maybe now that I've beaten the boss I can open the door. Hopefully. Maybe. Probably not. No. Oh well. Um... Well, rather than going through the gates that he was at, which would be the left gates, I wonder if you go through the right gates, you can open up that one shortcut. Yeah, that's what I'm probably assuming. Do you have any healing whatsoever? No. No, I, that was last ditch effort. Ooh, are you alive? Can I talk? No, you are dead dead. So, there's a building with a person, there's an item around the back. Let's take the item first. Maybe he'll be lucky and it's a pellet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sure. Okay, um... High patches. Patch. Care to purchase an offering? No, just an, an offering. Old man. Indeed. I sell items to be offered to the dead, so they might rest in peace. From the looks of you, I'd wager you have a lot of blood on your hands. Go ahead. Buy an offering. So this is gonna be like the one bell. Memorial Mop. Let's see, Dragon's Blood Droplet. You can carry one. An item that is rarely dropped by a divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon rot will be healed. The incessant coughing must cease. Oh, okay. So you can use this to help with the coughing. So you would want to get the blood sample from the old lady and then use yeah. something like that. Which you have plenty of coin purses at the moment. Firecrackers. Um, from across the southern seas can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Makes a deafening sound frightening to animals. Sold by little Robert and his father to raise funds for their travels. Their voyage brought them to Japan, where they would seek the undying in an attempt to extend Robert's life. Huh. Another gourd seed. Okay, so that's all he's got. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. Wherever your travels take you, make sure you bring some offerings. Interesting. Okay, so let me inventory. Okay, so let me find my bags of wealth. Cool, we can do all of them at once. Okay, so that gave me 300. So that was 100 for each, which, oh, which we know. And then this is 500. Nice. So, not so enough you, can buy, you can buy the gourd seed, seed, though. No, I cannot. Gourd seed's 1,000. Ah, oh, damn, I thought it was 500. The fact that you can buy the purses for more than you can use them for. Well, remember how you don't lose purses upon death. Fair enough. So it's enough. basically, hey, for an extra 50 gold, you can make it so that this 500 worth of gold, you're never going to lose upon death. So you're just paying for the bag. 
I mean, you may as well get the firecrackers. Since you can use it for prosthetics. Yeah. Might as well. It gives me a prosthetic tool. Okay. May the departed rest in peace. <laughs> directional audio. Man, that directional audio is intense. It goes from, like, talking right in your ear to being, like, 20 feet away from you. Okay, well, that's two dead people, and that person's just kind of sitting in there. And, unfortunately... I have seen enough trailers of the game to recognize that cloak. I remember that that lady ends up being a boss fight later. Oh, uh, that's not So I'm not yet. gonna go in that room quite yet. I mean, it would get you to the sculptor's idol really quick. Yeah, Cause... and potentially lose all of my friggin' stuff. I mean, that's the only way you can go if you want to attempt to go back. Well... I want to see if maybe near the gates that he came through, is there going to be a sculptor's idol icon that pops up there? Like, is it... Aha, see? Look, blue flames. Okay. Cool. I'll be honest, I was not anticipating one being right here. <laughs> I'm so used to Dark Souls 3 where there's a, a bonfire right after literally every single boss. Fair okay. enough. The enhanced attack power option has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. Excuse me for whistling there, Jesus. <laughs> uh, you can now consume battle memories to increase your attack power, causing you to deal more vitality and posture damage with your attacks. Interesting. Nice. Okay, so let's rest, because ow. And then let's travel. And we're just going to go right back to the dilapidated temple. And after we do all that, it's probably a good time to call it. Yeah, I want to... I want to implement my prosthetic... Yeah. What was the other reason that we need to go back to him? Um, well, we do need to go to the old lady at some point, but we can do that in the next episode. Yeah. The barrel. The yeah. thing that lets me upgrade. Which is also for prosthetic. Mm hmm Hi, Emma. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I see you've acquired something quite interesting. A mechanical barrel. It's a mechanism that can serve as the very core of the prosthetic. Hand it here. I'll fit it to the arm for you. Okay. What difference does the barrel make? With a versatile base such as this, I can use various purifying agents to further hone that bank of yours. Purifying agents? Purifying agents are materials that can be used together with the barrel. Things like gunpowder and scrap metal. Both of which so I have. find something of that sort. Be sure to bring it my way. All right, mechanical ba a barrel fitted. Present Shinobi prosthetic. Fit new prosthetic tool. Shinobi firecracker. Oh. You want to read it? Sure. Uh, unleashes an explosive flash that briefly blinds foes and inflicts posture damage on beast-type enemies. Has a wide frontward field of effect that can impact multiple foes at once. Suitable for temporarily immobilizing enemies, and particularly good for scaring beasts. Um, yeah. It doesn't say how many emblems it uses. It just says that it costs spirit emblems. And then now that you own everything, let's see about upgrading. Yeah. In the prosthetic tool upgrade menu, upgrade materials and sen can be spent to uh, create upgraded versions of prosthetic tools. To upgrade, one must own the base tool and also complete any prerequisite upgrades. Older versions of the tool can still be used after upgrading. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so spinning shuriken. An uh, enhanced shuriken that can be empowered with rotational energy. Did you want to read the rest? No, you can. Okay. Cost spear emblems to use, damage an enemy's vitality and posture, and does huge damage to jumping enemies. Take a moment to further bend the spring and build rotational energy will cause the blade to rotate after landing, damaging the enemy multiple times on hit. Similar to a spinning top, but with blades. And it's going to cost you 200 sen, and it looks like you need three gunpowder? I think that's scrap metal, because I think the thing next to it down there is gunpowder. Which is the spring-loaded firecracker. Uh, a firecracker upgraded with a spring mechanism. Costs spirit emblems to use. Unleashes a loud explosion and a bright flash which causes foes to recoil and inflicts posture damage on these type enemies. Charging up the spring mechanism adds a rotational energy when spreading the firecracker, affecting enemies in all directions. So it gives you an AoE. Yeah. So That's the axe. Spring-loaded axe. Uh, the strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. The weight allows one to shrug off incoming attacks and can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters. 
Storing and unleashing energy in the spring mechanism allows for large sweeping attacks despite its weight. Okay, so you in other words... five iron for that, and 400 sen. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I think with the way that this is structured, I need to grab this shuriken upgrade before I can grab the axe upgrade anyway. But Maybe. Uh, there was one more that you had. Because <laughs> uh, the uh, flame vent. Yeah. A spring-loaded flame vent. Also 400, requires four gunpowder and three scrap iron. Uh, deals damage to enemies with gouts of fire, inflicting burn status abnormality. The spring mechanism can also be charged to release a massive blast of flames and hot air, sending opponents flying. Hmm. Interesting. So in other words, you can make it explode and have them go flying backward. Apparently. <clears throat> oh, poor guy. Yeah. Well, I have the one dragon dropped here, if I... Well, that was something that you needed. Yes. I saw you and Lord Kuro Ooh. in a vision. A vision? Yes. Where is Lord Kuro right now? He's being kept near the keep at Ashina Castle. The gate to the castle, however, is shut. I see. Well, because the dragon tear thing was something that you needed to present to the Buddha statue. Yeah. Um, but before you do that, you really do need to make sure you get that blood, because once you cure, cure her of the rot, you then have to wait until she gets it again to be able to get that blood from her. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, but that should be next episode. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you all for turning into this episode. Um, we hope you enjoy mm -hmm. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good night.